Hey guys, my name's Dee. This is the Heron's Corner. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be doing some five star predictions. So usually I don't like like or try not to preempt what books i'm going to enjoy because i feel like it's just asking like it's just asking for the world to just jinx you and to be like um actually this is just a 3.5 star but just before um i stopped reading for exams and stuff um i was just reading a lot of 3.5 star three star books and i feel like i just need to do a predictions video just so I can like identify what books I actually think I'm going to enjoy just like put the time into thinking okay I usually like this type of genre or the like plot so I think I'm actually going to like this book and I'm going to prioritize these books in the future just so I'm reading more five star predictions you know because a girl can't just be reading 3.5 star predictions like all through the summer like that's not how you know hot book summer is going to work this year so for this video i'm only going to be talking about books that i physically have and own just so i can start reading through these books because <laughs> let me not say this on camera i am going to try and read as many of these physical books that i have this year because i do not want to be that bibliophile that just collects books and it doesn't really it stresses me out it really stresses me out so I really hope um, I can just knock some of these books out and that a lot of them are five stars. I'm going to just share with you guys some of my main five star predictions. Um, so yeah, so the first book I'm going to talk about in this video is Mrs. Death, Mrs. Death by Selena Garden. I'm not ever going to talk about this book a lot because it's actually em embarrassing. It's, it's, it's embarrassing, but I have not read this book yet. Um, so quick like um summary i guess is about death the suffocation of death in this book is a black british woman who is walking the streets of london i think there's just like an exchange of stories with different people that she meets i did actually start reading this book a couple of months ago and i was enjoying it like it's not like it was boring or anything like i was really captured into the narration and what i was doing it was giving me um it was giving me what's that book called the book thief vibes like if you know that narration of a book it was giving me that kind of compelling narration vibes and um i just stopped reading it <laughs> it's like really like just before my exams like my mind was in so many different like head spaces like i just couldn't like even focus on books like you'll find that a lot of books i might say in this video or just like in future videos i'll say oh i read part of this and i put it down because seriously like i just was not finishing books like in april that april may like no 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 that wasn't happening but yeah um beautiful cover this has been getting so much buzz just um when it comes to like book awards and stuff like that i think it's been nominated for another award very recently and i'm going to read this book i am going to read this book early summer like i don't want to put it on like a tbr because this is just on like the ultimate eternal tbr like you're going to have to read this book and you're going to enjoy it like personification of death that's all i have to say personification of death and then the next book i want to talk about is luster by raven lalani yep i got to maybe was it just under page 100 of this and i was enjoying this and i think i am enjoying like this kind of fresh millennial writing like i think a lot of like certain people when they read adult fiction uh, like older people read adult fiction i think um they don't really like the millennial writing not to like generalize but i've just been seeing that in some videos recently but i absolutely love it i'm not a millennial by the way i'm like a gen z or like what do you call it? a zillennial like you know what I mean? I'm not I'm not a millennial, but I just really love this Frank Vaughan writing that's happening recently in like um in fiction and adult literature. So um I was really enjoying this before I put it down again. It was like in April. Um and I'm going to read this again pretty soon because it's so small as well. So I'm kind of annoyed that I didn't just like read through it and just finish it off and be like, yeah, like read this book. I want to read this book so I could recommend this book to people because what I've read so far, I just, 
I just love it. I just really, I just, I just vibe with it. I really vibe with millennial writing, okay? So, um, this is definitely a five-star prediction as well. Let's embarrass myself even more. Sh should I say anything? Like, like... Um, I feel like I shouldn't, I shouldn't be on booktube because I have not read the fifth season by N.K. Jemisin. <laughs> um, this is just like the apocalypse keeps happening or something like that. You know what I mean? I don't even need to know the plot because people have just been hyping this up so much. Apparently it's second person. Apparently the mother is the main character and you never really get mother main characters in like action adventure kind of books. Um, but yeah, I am planning to read this very, very soon, maybe for a video. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm ready to jump on the bandwagon. I'm so ready. It's like, I, it's like I see the train there and I need to like jump on the train. And I'm just like getting ready to jump. Do you understand? Like, yeah, I just, I need to read it. Okay, the next book I want to talk about is a book by a Japanese author and that is It Cats Disappeared From The World, World by Genki Kawamura and I was supposed to read this for the Asian readathon and I didn't get to it but um yeah it's translated from the Japanese by Eric so um Soland and I seriously I think this was the book where like the protagonist turns into a cat like I was saying there's like two different cat books it feels like um that are really popular that are by like Japanese authors and I can't remember if this is the one where the person turns into a cat or something um and i don't really like researching it and then knowing what's happening i'm really comfortable with just going into the book with no information whatsoever um but yeah i know that joe over at um fictional fates he really enjoyed this book and i feel like it's just going to be a sweet short book well i hope it's not depressing like sometimes these short books are they're really just like weirdly triggering as well <laughs> so um i hope it oh i hope it'll get like existential crisis i hope it'll get existential crisis because like i feel like this is a existential book i may even say that word correctly anyway i think this is going to be a five star like i really think i'm going to love this book and i'm going to recommend it to everyone and be that annoying like book reader like after i've read it i'll be like just read it because it's a bit like that's going to be me to like all my non-reader friends but um yeah five star prediction and then the next book we have is club when you land by elizabeth acevedo um i read <sighs> the poet x earlier this year absolutely adored it like just loved it so much and i feel like i'm just going to love this it feels like it's gonna be one of those contemporaries that's like heavy but it has like a silver lining do you know what i mean like things get better like essentially if you don't know club when you land is about two um half sisters i'm pretty sure they're half sisters and like their father was like traveling to one of them but the plane crashed so the dad's dead and they're grieving their dad and i think they are like talking to each other but because they're half sisters and they're in one of them's in the dominican republic and the other one's in like new york they have like a lot of differences and they're trying to just connect through their shared grief i believe this book is about but um like after reading the poet x it's kind of like i would just want to read every elizabeth acevedo um novel like i know she has like um with fire and higher as well and i think she has another book as well that's coming out so um elizabeth acevedo has kind of become like an auto buy author for me just from reading the poet x um so if you haven't read the poet x please read the poet x it will become one of your all-time favorite young adult or maybe just all-time favorite books like it's just such a beautiful novel um yeah and this is a five-star prediction because of elizabeth acevedo like just because of elizabeth acevedo so the next book i want to talk about i actually got like during my exam season like because i had this whole kerfuffle for when my phone was not working so i had to go to the apple store or whatever and i had to wait around it for a bit and i walked into the book so i wasn't planning to pick up anything and then i saw this book and i know so many people love it so many people on booktube who like i really value their like bookish recommendations or like bookish opinion love this book so much as well and the book that book is at night all blood is black by david diop 
oh my god diol die die up i'm so bad with like names guys um so do i really know what this is about no does it really matter no um i know there is a war setting going on there's two two Senegalese soldiers fighting in the great war we are having stuff about masculinity colonialism race it just seems like it's a whole like it's a whole kind of buffet going on in this book and also i think this book actually won the international book because it's just a shortlisted here but i'm pretty sure this book was the one that won i think i remember seeing that i just think i'm going to love this book like it just feels like this like i feel like this book has the potential to be one of my best books of the year like that is high praise or high like um predictions i know but i just really feel like this might be like one of the top books of the year it, like if if i enjoy this book i think i'm going to love this book do you know what i mean like i don't think i'm going to be like oh yeah it's great 3.5 like if i really enjoy this book i think it's just going to be straight knocking on the five star door um so yeah full of sadness rage and beauty like that's that's all i want that's all i want from adult fiction like oh give me intensity give me intensity and then the last book i want to talk about in this video is the new age of empire how racism colonialism um still rule the world by kehinde andrews and this is a non-fiction you know i had to put a non-fiction on this list i can't wait to read this book it's just going i feel like it's just going to strip down no okay bare basics let's not mess around this is the empire this was the, the horrificness of the empire don't sugarcoat it I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that's what this book is just about also i've seen this author on twitter i don't think i follow him maybe i do but i've seen this guy on twitter and he's really just intelligent always talking straight facts so i can't wait to read this book i got it just before my exams as well um yeah Ooh, it doesn't seem like it's too long as well like sometimes with these hardbacks it feels like they're going to be longer than they actually are but this is just under like 300 pages with the index so um yeah so these are the books i am hoping are going to be the books that are my best books i read in 2021 list you know what i mean just these are the books i just hope so much for and i really have to bring like a special attention to um at night all blood is black because i just feel like i don't want to put too much pressure on this book now but i just feel like it's going to be just a really 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 great read you know um yeah so those are the books that i'm predicting five stars please let me know down below what books you're predicting are going to be your five star reads um like you know within the next couple of months or so um remember to follow me on twitter and my instagram and um remember to like and subscribe to my channel did i already say that anyway <laughs> i'll see you guys soon in another video soon bye